It is definitely hard to wrap one's head around the idea of a giant red blue robot becoming one of the most charismatic characters in fiction. Optimus Prime from the Transformers franchise is not just a visual marvel when he transforms into a truck, but he also stands as the backbone of the Autobots. Huh, I do detect a strong spirit within him. With the motto, freedom is the right of all sentient beings, Optimus stands as a symbol of selfless dedication and heroism. Across the many iterations of his character over the decades, some liked, while others despised, his core ideals and motives remain unchanged. So, in this video, let's explore 10 such powerful versions of Optimus Prime, an ordinary Cybertron changed into a leader born to lead. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. A deep dive into the original version of Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime began his life as Orion Pax on the planet Cybertron as a regular Autobot who worked in a dock that stored energy. During this time, a new breed of robots with flight powers appeared on the planet. These robots caught Orion's attention, who was awestruck by them. But little to his knowledge, Megatron, the wicked leader of these Decepticons, was on a ravaging spree in pillaging cities. Soon, Orion encountered him when Megatron tried stealing energy from the dock where he worked. Orion was shot by Megatron, but Megatron didn't have the simplest inkling that he was creating his nemesis. Orion was taken to Alpha Trion, one of the oldest living Transformers, who patched him up. He then rose as Optimus Prime, the leader of the Autobots and was given the Matrix of Leadership, a relic that gave its bearer supreme power and knowledge. Optimus then introduced himself to Megatron and called himself his worst nightmare. After he transformed and received the Matrix, Optimus recognized the responsibilities of a leader and came to respect the honor he was presented with. Optimus shouldered the Autobot army through various wars against the Decepticons, a role he played for thousands of years. However, this continuous clash with the Decepticons drained Cybertron of its energy. Optimus then set out on an intergalactic journey to find energy resources on other planets, but an accident left him in comatose for four million years. A volcanic eruption revived him, and he found himself in the middle of humans, and thus, he embarked on his tumultuous journey among humankind. Optimus was always on the front lines of the war during his early years on Earth, often against Megatron. Although he felt the weight of every life he couldn't save, whether it was of humans, the Autobots, or otherwise, he maintained a strong front in front of his army. This displayed his compassion, wisdom, and bravery as a leader. He was committed to his goal of protecting lives, and his willingness to sacrifice for others not only said something about his leadership, but also defined his character the unparalleled portrayal of Optimus Prime in print. In the print version, Optimus Prime was still Orion Pax, a courageous law officer. Before Megatron was the power-hungry Megatron of today, he was a pacifist who challenged the societal divide. When he was falsely arrested, it was Optimus who helped him with his release. However, upon transforming into Optimus Prime, he bravely faced Megatron and the Decepticons across many galaxies. He was the first true Prime after ages who wielded the Matrix of Leadership, which earned him both respect as well as animosity. After the Great War ended, and Cybertron connected with distant and various colonies and settlements, Optimus realized the Cybertronians were respected as divine. In spite of being chosen as the leader of the Autobots, Optimus was not without self-doubt. This distrust in himself had also forced him to step down from the position of leadership on a couple of occasions, a heroic sacrifice that he made because it was the right thing to do. This version portrayed Optimus in a flawed light, and not the infallible leader the Cybertronians thought him to be and needed. The crack in his well Molded character was further highlighted when he decided to annex Earth for Cybertron security, and the effect the constant wars had on Cybertron and the Autobots, which led to doubts within the ranks. Although the incarnation of Optimus was not without faults and doubts, he still remained the leader who strived for the greater good, even when he knew the outcomes might not be in his favor. Optimus, if our combatants are already deceased, Depth and complexity of Optimus Prime in Transformers Prime. Much like his version from the animated series titled Transformers Cyberverse, this iteration of Orion Pax was a timid data clerk who constantly doubted himself. However, one thing Orion had a very clear stand on was his sense of right and wrong. He was under the tutelage of Alpha Trion, an Autobot historian who believed Orion to be worthy of the next Prime, and so he was the chosen one and went on to become Optimus Prime. Optimus was also handed the Matrix of Leadership and, with it, 
the responsibility to lead the Autobots. His relentless clash with Megatron and his army of Decepticons ultimately brought the two leaders to Earth. Optimus's mission was to prevent Megatron from exploiting Earth's Energon, a resource crucial for both the survival of the Autobots and Decepticons, and ultimately put an end to this persistent clash. Despite the numerous challenges they faced, because of being on an unknown terrain, Optimus consistently led his army to victory, which showcased his unflinching compassion and resourcefulness. Committed to his role as a leader, he often went above and beyond. Despite being a skilled combatant, he cared deeply for his army and was always open to peaceful solutions when they were an option. Unlike the larger-than-life persona that has always been attached to his character, this version of Optimus strikes just the right balance between a heroic figure and a strategic military leader. This nuanced portrayal makes him one of the most compelling versions of Optimus Prime we've seen. Roaring Leadership The majestic leadership of Optimus Primal in the Beast Wars The animated series, Beast Wars, revolutionized the Transformers universe when it replaced the Autobots and the Decepticons with the Maximals and the Predacons. These robots could transform into, well, beasts instead of vehicles. It also introduced the character of Optimus Primal, who went on to become one of the most remarkable characters of the Transformers franchise. Optimus Primal was a young captain of an exploration ship named Axelon. His journey towards becoming a leader began abruptly when he was assigned to pursue a stolen ship led by a rogue Predacon named Megatron. And with this, he began his turbulent intergalactic expedition, facing challenges and intimidating opponents he wasn't ready for. However, unlike the celebrated Optimus Prime, Primal had a more grounded, relatable, and slightly flippant approach to this leadership that was thrust upon him. He was a staunch supporter of the Maximal Codes, although wasn't hesitant to bend the rule when situations arose, embodying a sometimes crazy works philosophy. This showed his adaptability in not so comfortable circumstances. Despite the pressure of living under Optimus' shadow, Primal carved out a unique path for himself in the Transformers universe with honor, moral flexibility, selflessness, and loyalty. Primal's legacy cannot be forgotten. I mean, the latest live-action Transformers movie proves that Primal is as significant as Prime, if not more. Saving Prime's life and leading to a techno-organic Cybertron were feats that cemented his status. Primal's unorthodox leadership style and realism to an otherwise over-the-top character franchise was a refreshing narrative. Armada's Prime Navigating the Animated Odyssey of Optimus Prime Optimus Prime's journey during the animated series titled Transformers Armada as a leader was one of growth, brotherhood, and selfless sacrifice. For thousands of years, Optimus had been frequently clashing with a Decepticon named Scavenger. These clashes led to an unlikely friendship between him and Scavenger, which was laid on the foundation of mutual respect. Eventually, Scavenger switched sides and joined Optimus Prime and his army of Autobots. Optimus came to be the leader of the Autobots after Rodimus Prime left Cybertron 8,000 years ago. Optimus's leadership caliber shines when, in 2010, he led the Autobots to Earth to look for Minicons, a race of small, human-sized Transformers. While Optimus wanted to rescue the Minicons, Megatron wished to exploit the Minicons to build a powerful weapon that would serve his ultimate goal of world dominance. Optimus selflessly sacrificed his life to prevent Megatron from executing his wicked plan. However, he was revived by the Minicons with the help of the Matrix of Leadership. The conflict escalated, and Optimus faced the Chaos Bringer, Unicron, the planet-eating menace. Optimus was successful in defeating Unicron, but he then embarked on a soul-searching journey through space. He returned with a renewed purpose to harness Energon, and this united Autobots, Decepticons, and the humans as well. But this camaraderie was short-lived when it was discovered that Unicron still existed. Optimus was quick in his response. He led a campaign to prevent the resurgence of Unicron. He ultimately defeated Unicron using the Spark of Combination, the ability that granted the Autobots to combine one another and form a larger, more powerful form. Not long after, he was faced with another great challenge, when a black hole threatened the universe. This led to his face-off with Galvatron, which eventually ended in his destruction. Throughout the series, Optimus was portrayed as an insightful leader with an unwavering dedication to justice and peace. While some may find his character lacking in depth and one-dimensional when compared to his other versions, his resilience and courage to bring peace across the universe defined his character brilliance of Optimus Prime in Transformers Animated. The TV series titled Transformers Animated was set post-war when Optimus Prime was a mere repair bot known as Optimus Magnus. He led a group of young and inexperienced Autobots in space bridge maintenance. New to the position of a leader, he had a naive and idealistic approach. This iteration of Optimus was less stoic and more susceptible to making mistakes than he was usually presented in other versions. However, he eventually stepped up and evolved into a capable leader. He quickly learned the ropes and grew through 
his experiences. Although he had this approachable and relatable quality, he was seriously dedicated to his duties. He was unlike a conventional leader. Instead of demanding respect from the Autobots, he earned it through his actions. He was always the first one to jump into a battle, a trait of a natural leader. Through his actions, he earned the respect of his superiors, Sentinel Prime and Ultra Magnus, who were once dismissive of his status as an ordinary repair bot. Always the one dreaming of glory, Optimus learned the true meaning of a hero when he and his Autobots landed on Earth. He learned that being a hero was not only about glory and fame, but also about making the right decisions and pushing limits because no one else could do it. By the time Optimus went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Megatron, it was clear he had grown into the shoes of a respectable leader. Die. Crucial Character Growth in Rise of the Beasts The 2023 live-action film titled Transformers Rise of the Beasts displayed the many shades of Optimus Prime, not only as the central character, but also the core values that made him so. This time, the state of his home planet, Cybertron, has had him worried, which fell into the Decepticons' rule as seen in the 2018 movie titled Bumblebee. He had his mind set to protect his Autobot family, both on Earth and those he left behind on Cybertron, usually the one to advocate freedom and choices. This iteration of Optimus displayed a different shade. He was initially distrustful of humans and was absorbed in saving his fellow Autobots. Optimus his focus on his mission made him colder, and he was no longer the warm, heroic figure he used to be. Although he had a brotherly love for his Autobot mates, his feelings of empathy and belonging toward humankind took a nosedive. However, things changed when Optimus encountered the Maximals. The Maximals, in alliance with the humans, had been fighting and defending life from the Unicron. This disclosure shifted Maximals' unwelcoming perspective towards humanity. He saw the reflection of his struggles in the character of Noah Diaz, who was also out to defend humans and the world. Although Optimus joined hands with Noah. Both start off with the mindset of saving their own kind. Soon, they realized their goals were aligned. This event shaped the young, evolving character of Optimus into the benevolent leader he was destined to be. His character grew through these interactions with the human race and eventually morphed into the hero Earth and Cybertron needed. Bite-sized heroics, Optimus Prime and Cyberverse. Optimus from the animated series titled Transformers Cyberverse started as an ordinary clerk who was fascinated by Megatron's grand vision of change and quickly became one of his allies. However, Megatron's rise to power and ambition unveiled a more sinister side when he attacked the High Council, of which only Alpha Trion survived. Alpha Trion entrusted a guilt-ridden Optimus with the Matrix of Leadership and transformed him into Optimus Prime. Despite blaming himself for Megatron's destruction, Optimus made a final attempt to his old friend for a peaceful resolution. Optimus's proposition was outright rejected, and Megatron declared an all-out war, thus marking the end of their friendship. After learning that Megatron wanted to get his hands on the Allspark, an ancient artifact, the Autobots worked on keeping it out of his reach. Though Megatron fought with all his his might to secure the Allspar. The Autobots were successful in sending it through the space bridge. Soon, Optimus came to the realization that his action was not without any consequence. The absence of the Allspark severely impacted their home planet, Cybertron. Optimus realized his mistake in sending the Allspark away and set out on a journey with his troops of Autobots to retrieve it, low on Energon. And in search of the Allspark, he and his army came across a planet rich in the resource. Upon realizing that the creatures of the planet fed off the Energon, Optimus chose not to harm them, thus displaying his ethical leadership. Later, he also vowed to protect Earth from the Autobots' Decepticons' war. Optimus then led a critical mission to the moon, where he managed to defeat Megatron and prevent Earth from its impending doom. This version of Optimus was a mix of his various earlier incarnations. He had the stoicism of the movie version with Generation 1's cheekiness. While the series focused on Bumblebee, Optimus's character's fundamental essence remained unchanged. Optimus Prime's command in Transformers, Robots in Disguise. In the animated series titled Transformers, Robot in Disguise, Alpha Trion created Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus during the Golden Age of Cybertron. The two of them were then raised as brothers. However, this brotherhood was tested during the Cybertronian Civil War when Optimus was chosen by the Matrix to lead the Autobots against the energy-hungry Megatron and his army of Predacons. These Predacons were on a mad rampage across the universe in search of energy. When Optimus was chosen over him, Magnus felt sidelined and harbored a bitter grudge against his brother. Optimus then tracked down Megatron on Earth and tirelessly fought against him alongside his loyal troops of Autobots. His leadership and bravery shone through the numerous battles he fought. However, 
things escalated with the arrival of Ultra Magnus on Earth and his claim for the Matrix. Magnus ultimately claimed the Matrix when Optimus and Magnus merged into Omega Prime or Godfire Convoy during their face-off. This allowed Magnus to wield the Matrix's power, while Optimus continued his conflict with the Decepticons. Magnus, though reluctant, joined the cause. With a strained yet deepening brotherhood, both the brothers presented a united stance against Megatron's new form, Galvatron. The brothers defeated Galvatron and reconciled, although this iteration of Optimus Optimus was often perceived as lacking in variety and depth. As one of the central characters, his refined rivalry with his brother, Magnus, added a subtle layer of complexity to his otherwise straightforward heroism. We're serving with you all. Autobots, roll out! Michael Bay's Optimus Prime The Optimus Prime from Michael Ray's Transformers universe initially started out as a cutout hero figure. When the conflict between the Autobots and the Decepticons reached Earth, he tried everything in his power to keep it far from the densely populated areas and was committed to protecting lives, both of humans and the Autobots. Like the noble hero he was, he even considered self-sacrifice when he could not think of a way to put a stop to Megatron's rampant destruction. However, the grief of losing his home planet, Cybertron, and the continuous wars hardened Optimus' personality personality. Having found a refuge on Earth, Optimus was aware of the dangers of Megatron's ambitions. He grew obsessed with defeating Megatron. As the story progressed, Optimus's single-minded aim chipped away some of the idealism he was known for. This change brought some ruthlessness on the surface, ironic of his honest and affectionate nature. Unlike his usual compassion itself, Bay's version of Optimus rarely gave second chances and could go to any lengths to claim his victory. Even if it meant executing his disabled opponent like Demolisher, he took up the role of judge, jury, and executioner, and was not remorseful of the lives he took. His loss and trauma took a toll on his character, and he displayed anger and violent outbursts and apparently enjoyed the combat life, a stark contrast to the traditional quality of a hero who usually avoids taking life. Optimus was constantly stuck in his war mode due to the long-standing history of conflict for Cybertron, and thus, some of his actions in the live-action films were ambiguous and extreme. His actions reflected a character caught in the throes of war and how the war blurred the lines of heroism in his eyes. Every iteration of Optimus Prime from the Transformers universe, with or without his flaws, is a distinguished figure in the myriad of heroic characters. Beyond being just a robot, he developed into a symbol of strength, leadership, and morality, almost like a father figure to the Autobots and a nurturer of his home planet Cybertron. He was very much like Severus Snape from the Harry Potter series. Both characters were fiercely protective. While Snape protected Harry with all his life out of his love for Harry's mother, similarly, Optimus was driven by his desire to protect his fellow Autobots and his home. Just like Snape bore the burden of his role and ultimately sacrificed himself for Harry, there were various occasions where Optimus Prime sacrificed himself for the greater good. So, in conclusion, despite his rough exterior, quite literally, Optimus Prime as a character represented hope and resilience in the face of adversity, and was an icon that transcends generations. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.